a very warm welcome to all the students of ABBHS High School Lunabla Standard 6 subject geography Lesson number 7 rock and types of rock In previous video we studied the following what is rock uses of rock in which factor do the properties of rock depend right children okay now in today's video we are going to see about the types of rock so children rocks are different colors sizes shapes some way some rocks are soft some are hard some are brittle brittle means children which can easily broken for example sandstone quartz right here the wooden coal is given which can be easily broke then some rocks are porous porous means children rock which have small small holes now look at here like this way and it absorb the water liquid air to pass through for example pumice same some are non porous non porous means children rocks which not allowing liquid or air to pass one it is in one piece for example basalt is there obsidian here obsidian is there pumice picture it is here good some are rock, some rocks are light weighted some rocks are heavy etc so like this way rocks we can see everywhere right children so according to the formation of or formation process there are three main types of rocks right first one igneous rock which also called the primary rock second sedimentary rock and last metamorphic rocks let's see one by one here you can see the picture igneous rock children when the molten material known as magma within the crust and lava on the surface cools down it solidifies giving rise to rocks children do you know what is magma and lava okay let me explain you the that first now you can see in the picture our earth earth is composed with three layers right the upper layer is crust next is metal and center of the earth is core or we can say magma each of these layers have its properties compositions and characteristics now children look at this picture magma which is in the interior part of the earth has very high temperature as a result the material in this part is in the molten state children the magma that comes out and flow on the surface of the earth is called lava now look at this picture children in the center of the earth magma chamber is present we can say mineral in a liquid form present sometime this material make pressure to come out right and finally it comes out by breaking the layers of metal crust and they come out of form of volcano this magma comes out and spread on the surface of the earth that we call the lava so i hope you all are understood the concept of magma and lava lava begins to cool and harden to form solid and this igneous rock created 
as these rocks are formed out of the material from the interior of the earth these are also referred to as primary rocks please keep it in your mind and note down the characteristics of igneous rock mostly these rocks appear hard yes and homogeneous mean children made up of parts that are all of some like hard type okay these are heavy rock these rocks do not get fossils or any layers fossil mean children look at this picture the buried remains of dead animals or plants become subject to heavy pressure as a result their impression get marked in the rock at times the buried animal or plants get petrified okay printed there and these are called fossil look at here map of maharashtra state distribution of major rocks so children the maharashtra plateau and the sayadri are formed out of igneous rock for example basalt granite laterite scoria obsidian pumice etc children there are two types of igneous rock first one extrusive extrusive rocks which form on the surface of the land for example obsidian basalt and pumice or second one intrusive igneous rock which form underground of the earth for example okay, children most of the hill forts in maharashtra have lake or elephant yard elephant yard means big yard actually these are old quarry sites rock was extracted from these sites and used for the construction of the fort and other buildings in the pit and the dug out left behind after rock extraction water was allowed to accumulate and these lakes tank lakes tanks etc were created so children that's all for today we learned about igneous rock in the next video we will learn sedimentary and metamorphic rock that's all for today children go through the video again and again read the lesson mark and note down new words thank you take care and keep learning something new